Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's explain Crimson Dragon. Okay, so let's talk about Crimson Dragon. Crimson Dragon is a Synchro 12 with a very powerful effect. But before we get to Crimson Dragon's effect, let's just state this. Just last year, we had a card called Sprite Elf that was released. Its effect was absolutely bonkers, right? It was very easy to summon and restrictions on it were nowhere. Coincidence, I think not. We've had several um, broken monsters being released time and time and time again with no research being done, with no aspect of how they would affect the game and purely going on it on a monetary perspective. I can't deny that. It's just the trope at this point. So when we first look at Crimson Dragon, our first thoughts are this card is absolutely busted. I like the word freeze. Do you know why? It means I can do silly things for no reason. Right? And for all intents and purposes, it is when we first look at the effect. But as we go deeper and look into it a bit more, we start to realize that Konami's actually done some research. While yes, the research could be questionable at best, but I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt that research has been done here and there's been some follow-up here. I would totally believe you if it was not for all these words. It is a step in the right direction, but let me explain as the sound logic that Konami has put here. Sound logic, he says, would you get a load of this guy? From their perspective, yes. So, let us, let us now, um, let me now argue their logic that they have for this card. First of all, with sound logic that they do present, is that Synchro 12s are hard to make. This is indeed true, and this is appropriate research has been done. Um, Synchro 12s are hard to make, and with Crimson Dragon's effect, you have to do a Synchro 12 twice. While yes, there are ways to cheat it out um, with Bish Balkin, again, it requires a lot of investment, a lot of time, and a lot of things. And as it stands now at the moment, while Manadium looks pretty good, being able to spam out um, Hot Red King Calamity is not exactly the best play you could be going for right now. There are other better plays. While Centurion in the future definitely can cheat it out, and because it's because it's uh, one of the exception archetypes that can make Synchro Trolls really easily. But on average, making Synchro Trolls is extremely hard to make. Another aspect of it is that how Konami, the case to arguing with the the how they balance this card and why they feel it's justifiable and we can see it clearly is that it only special summons dragons did you know a lock on type actually matters now you might say we had aga pain before that only special summon dragons but here's the difference aga pain was able to summon any dragon from the extra deck this includes synchros fusions and xyz's the range was huge and massive, so it being broken was absolutely uh, was was a no-brainer because you had a choice of three separate extra deck piles to choose from. You had a choice of basically 400 to 600 cards, absolutely insane. But you look at Crimson Dragon and your choices are actually very limited. Remember, you only have choices from level 7 up to 12. Did you know a lock on type actually matters? And you can only choose dragons. So first of all, level 7s for competitive play are off the table. And while yes, you could cheat out, let's say, Ancient Fairy Dragon, but I feel Ancient Fairy Dragon in the near future is going to get banned. You expect me to believe that? Field spells are just absolutely ridiculous in Yu-Gi-Oh at the moment. So, yeah. But leaving the aspect of Ancient Fairy Dragon and its ban aside, Apart from Ancient Fairy Dragon, there's not really other any Synchro 7s that you're going to be making competitively in the future. Facts. Or cheating out. We also have Synchro 8s. Now with Synchro 8s, we have Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Um, do you want to cheat that out? Nine, nine times out of ten? Of course. 
um you have void ogre dragon are you gonna cheat that out not really being not having a hand is not exactly how Yu-Gi-Oh is nowadays usually you want a hand to be having hand traps so void ogre dragon is out of question um you have crystal wing single dragon you want to cheat that out absolutely um savage dragon do you want to be cheating that out maybe potentially but nine times out of ten no because you usually have a way to hard make it uh possibly you want to cheat out um axel synchro stardust dragon maybe potentially um yeah but it doesn't do enough so your choices really is just crystal wing synchro dragon you don't really have many choices remember you can't make any other types you can only make dragons did you know a lock on type actually matters now if you had access to all uh types if you could summon any type you know with crimson dragon this would be a whole different discussion we're having here you'd have so many choices but so your only choices are one there so you only have crystal wing synchro dragon we go into the synchro nines and again you only have the hot king calamity abyss you know the synchro nine that has a negate outside of that there is no other syn synchro nine dragon that you're gonna make because they're all garbage um yeah possibly you could say you want to make uh you know trishula but i don't feel trishula is a dragon so that's off the table and then we have synchro tens well synchro tens what's the best synchro ten at the moment are they dragons no the synchro ten that people want would want to cheat out is baron de fleur guess what that's a warrior so you're not making that um the other synchro ten that would be pretty nice to cheat out is stardust warrior guess what it's a warrior hmm, i wonder why because of the name but again some of the best um synchros that we have in the that have some of the strongest effects in the game are not necessarily dragons i find this rather odd they have a different type so you don't want to cheat that out so apart from like hmm, let's see bestial disparta um what other synchro dragon are you going to be cheating out here There's not much really. And yeah, like competitive wise, it's Bistle Desparta or nothing. So already we're looking at the cards you have to cheat out here, and the choices are pretty slim. And Konami's case is looking quite strong, to be honest. And finally, we have Synchro 12s. So when it comes to Synchro 12s, you only have Hot Red King Calamity. Now, if that gets banned, which obviously it is going to get banned, there's no way it's going to remain in the game. Well, what are your choices then? Your only choices you have for Crimson Dragon are one, two. You only have two, two cards, each, two, two cards in your extra deck that you're going to potentially be making out all the time, which is um, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, um, it Bistol Sparta, and possibly maybe your third option is cr uh, Clear Wing, you know, Clear Wing Crystal Synchro Dragon, you know, the Synchro Dragon. But outside of these three options, you don't have a lot of choice here. And competitively wise, the thing is with Crimson Dragon, as Konami is stating their case here, you've used a lot of investment. You could have gone into an Appaloosa, Savage, and or in-deck archetype shenanigans, and you could have done much more for your buck. Then go into a Crimson Dragon and just end your plays there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, pretty much. So, yeah. Anyways, we'll see whether this argument holds any water in the future. But the fact that we have a solid argument here from Konami, we can definitely see that a lot of thought has been put into Crimson Dragon. A lot of um, research has been done. And definitely, this is a card that has a lot of thought that has been put into it from a gameplay perspective, from a player perspective, and from a wholesome perspective. Okay, so let's now argue on the player's perspective and why this card is broken and why we feel as a player base this card should get banned. Uh, first of all, it allows access to cards such as uh, Bestial Desparta. Um, and uh, uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, it allows access to... Hot Red 
Archfiend King Calamity. That's it. That's it. And that is a card that is definitely 100% broken, right? It is a turn skip, and we don't like turn skips. Um, obviously, if we ban that, what other cards is it going to affect? I mean, it's going to really um, be a problem if we can be spamming out Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. Yeah, definitely. Most, most definitely. Um, uh, yeah. Um, hmm. I'm noticing I'm having a bit of a problem here. Outside of Hot Red Archfiend King Calamity, from a player's perspective, there's not really a lot that we can really i can really say that is really bad about crimson dragon now don't get it don't get me wrong don't get me twisted it is a powerful card but if calamity is off the table there's not really anything we can go into that's really serious or broken well let's hit the conclusion shall we Okay, so let's come to the conclusion from Konami's point of view. So, let's look at this card and look at it objectively. Crimson Dragon is not a broken card. And for the first time in the 24 years of playing this game and its 24 years of life, um, it's, been abs it's absolutely amazing that we've uh, Konami's released a card that is potentially balanced. And by only banning one card, the card can still exist, which is insane uh, when you think about it. So, let's talk about it and look at it realistically. How can this really affect Yu-Gi-Oh! as a whole? So, let's say we ban Hot Red King Archfiend Calamity pretty early. What other Synchro 12s are, you, are we going to be looking out for? Um, as you can see on the screen, we have Cosmic Blazer Dragon. So, we cheat out that in Centurion. And this is the first thing we're gonna say. Can you please for one moment choose the thing in between your ears? There's no TCG player, no OCG player rather, that would want to spam this out on the opponent's turn. This is a glorified imperm if I ever did see it, right? There's so much investment for just this? Hell no! No one's gonna be making this, okay? And synchro, other Synchro 12s usually have a similar effect to this one. So already, Synchro 12s, spamming out Synchro 12s are off the table. So as soon as Calamity is banned, you know Centurion is a dead deck on release. If it is to be banned before Centurion's release in TCG, and it's not going to be doing absolutely anything. Okay, cool. Now, let's look at the Synchro um, 11 perspective. And we've got going out for it. We've got like, um, what is that thing again? Ah, yes. It's sort of like Calamity. But here's the thing. Synchro, there is, since Yu-Gi-Oh's um, inception of Synchro 11s, there's been no deck in Yu-Gi-Oh history that's been able to successfully Synchro Summon Synchro 11s with the greatest of ease. Are you serious? While Star Eater, yes, has a really great effect on Synchro Summon, and in theory is a calamity, but again, we haven't had any deck since this game's inception that has been able to spam out Synchro 11s with the greatest of ease. And I don't know whether that's going to be in the case in the future. And if we do get to that point, then I'm sure we will ban Star Eater. But until then, I don't think so. And is Star Eater even a dragon? We're gonna have to check up on that, but yeah. So, and then we have our Synchro Trends. We have just to choose from, remember we can only choose dragons. So we have Bestial Desparta and we have Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, as you can see on the screen. Those are the only two options that you're gonna be choosing for competitive play in TCG or OCG. And I'm telling you, that is a pretty hard ask here, and that is being mighty generous. Now, while Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon has a lot of spice, it can negate monster effects and can also negate spell or trap effects, and when it is destroyed, can add you a hand trap. Wow, it's great, it's fantastic, but there are other Synchro 10s that we can make that do far more, <coughs> Baron de Fleur, and 
This is just more bang for your buck with other generic negates we have right now at this point in time without making Crimson Dragon. So, Crimson, so that argument is off the table. And I'm sorry, no one's going to be making Stardust Chronicles Spark Dragon in either TCG or OCG. Have you lost your goddamn mind? So, no. And then we have Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Mind you, the only target that you're going to be making with Synchro 9s. That doesn't leave a lot to be desired. Remember, you're making a Synchro 12 and you have to make a Synchro 9. Bro, all this investment for what? You don't get to play, you just lose. For what, I tell you, for what? For absolutely nothing. Come on now, come on now, you got to... Tease me with better stuff, with better end boards. You can't tease me with this garbage, man. Come on now. That's not reality in the real world. You will lose and fall into despair. So, no. Um, yeah, we we really lacking choice here. And when it comes to Synchro 8s, well, outside of Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, what, what Synchro Dragon are you making that's a Synchro 8? That is extremely disrespectful! With Crimson Dragon, what exactly? Tell me, what? Absolute garbage. Get out of here with your ways. And finally, we have the Synchro 7, which is Ancient Fairy Dragon. Okay, outside of Ancient Fairy Dragon and Synchro 7, what other Synchro 7s Dragons, are you making? You're telling me you're going to be spamming out like a uh, black rose dragon? Come on now, shut your ass up. You're not gonna be uh, making that. You're gonna be spamming out black rose moonlit dragon? Of course you're not. So, with your only option being ancient fairy dragon, yeah. And so let's now fast forward and see the options you've got with Crimson, Dra with Crimson Dragon if, not if, but in the potential future when Hot Red Archfiend King Calamity is banned. You only have Clear Wing Synchro Dragon to choose from from Synchro 10s. You have only Ancient Fairy Dragon to choose from from Synchro 7s. You only have Synchro 8s, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon to choose from Synchro 8s. In Synchro 9s, you only have Hot Red Archfiend, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. And from Synchro 12s, you have no choice at all. Synchro 11s, you have Star Eater, which is a potential, um, you know, effect that you could use. But however, Synchro 11s, currently at this point in time, are impossible to make. And there is no competitive deck in Yu-Gi-Oh's history that has been able to make Synchro 11s easily. So that is completely off the table, okay? And so you only have, let's see, hmm, two choices, possibly three. And if, and possibly not, because we have Revolution Synchron come, that has come out in, uh, let's see, Duelist Nexus. So you're not going to be making Ancient Fairy Dragon because that is completely off the table. Why? Because you have Revolution Synchron, which can spam that out pretty easily. That's a tuner. So no. So your option is, um, let's see. Crystal Wing, Synchro Dragon, you'd say realistically? Um, I would say no, not that either, because most of the time, with most modern archetypes right now, they have an in-deck um, negate in their deck to deal with Nibiru or other kinds of hand traps, so you're not going to be making that. Um, yeah, so that's off the table, so your only choices are Bestial Desparta and uh, Crystal Wing, uh, Clear Wing, Synchro Dragon, I Yes, for Synchro 10s. Bestial Departure? Well, if you're Dragon Link, then you can potentially make Bestial Desparta pretty easily. So that's off the table. So your only other choice is Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, I guess. So out of all that, you only have one choice in the potential future to, to choose from, from Crimson Dragon. Wow, guys, that's looking real great. Remember, I'm talking about realistic things you can actually go into in the future. And this is a potential future that we're going to be facing when uh, Hot Red King 
Archfiend King Calamity is banned. So when that's banned, I can tell you right now that Crimson Dragon usage is going to drop off the face of the earth in TCG and OCG. It is just too much investment and it's just too much investment, man. You can do much more making a Palooza and a Savage on your board. That is going to do you way more, uh, you know, field presence and board presence. And it's more bang for your buck, bang for your investment and for your board and for your sanity and mind than making a Crimson Dragon, which you're only going to get one potentially gate out of. Potentially two with the uh, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, but that could have been invested in better things. And well, that's all I've got to say about this. Come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.